Hello, everybody. I hope you're having a good day, night, hell, lunch, whatever time zone you're in. And when you see this video, I hope you guys are having a good one. Today, we are going to be going through the almost ultimate guide to the VTuber Plus. So basically, how this is going to work, I'm going to walk you through how to actually import items into Unity, how to set it up into uh, VTuber Plus itself, and how to, how to set it up to react to Twitch. If you're looking for any other kind of supports, such as Lionbrard or however it's pronounced, uh, I know I bought butched it, I am sorry, but if you need help with those other options, you'll have to go to the Discord or try to find another video. But either way, let's dive in and try to get this thing rolling. So the first thing you'll be going to be needing is Unity. Unity it can be easily found and you'll be searching for a specific version. We'll be using Unity 2019 for 31 F1. Taking this version of Unity is, is the proper version that you need to install. I can mix, uh, mix and match my words, but anyways. Next up, you'll be needing the SDK. The SDK, uh, as of this recording, is 1.6 and you can probably download it from either the website or whatever uh, resource that you got it from. So let's go ahead and add that. The way that you do that is you can either double click it or just drag and drop it into the project section here. Apologies if my model flips you guys off. I don't. I am not flipping you off. It's just the sensor. It'll ask if you want to import it. Go ahead and do so. We'll just wait a little bit and it's done. Want to know if it's installed properly? Well, first things first, there's a new folder right here. And up here at the top, you'll see VTuber Plus. And you go, of course, you got your convert items and whatnot. We'll cover this in just a second. Now, how do we actually add our own items to VTuber Plus? That's just as easy. So what I'm going to do is I'm still going to technically follow my old tutorial by over here, cl right clicking assets create folder it'll create this empty folder right here i'm going to rename this user item i don't think you still need it anymore but i'm just going to go ahead and run through those steps anyways just in case inside user folder you notice it's empty now let's grab our item we're going to have a pool ball hit me so we're going to grab the folder drag it drop it into the asset folder here and you notice, we now have pool ball. Now, how do we add this? So we're gonna drag and drop this up here into the hierarchy. Yeah, since this one has a bunch of features in it, uh, just give me a quick second to clean this up. Done. You notice the pool ball is actually uh, off center. Always make sure that you come up here to the transform in Inspector and set it to zero. I'm also gonna set the rotation to zero too. Our pool ball is missing a texture though, isn't it? Well, luckily it comes with its own texture. So we're gonna drag and drop this onto the pool ball. You'll notice that it now has a texture on it. Let me actually grab it proper. There we go. And there's our pool ball. We're going to be hit with the eight ball. Upon adding this texture, we now have a material. We can edit this material to be whatever we want, but I'm going to keep it standard for now. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, how do we actually manage this item? So right now, whenever you click the item, it you usually see these arrows this just moves it around in its play space Control z will undo any any edits that you do by the way but how do we resize it because it does look a little big well there's two ways to do this up here at the top you have three very useful tools you got your move tool your rotate tool and your scale tool i personally use shortcuts so w is moving E is rotate and R is resizing. Now, how do we resize this to be, you know, even? 
because if I grab it from this red spot, it's just going to squish it. It's like, oh, wait, this is going to be funny. Grab it from this gray square and then drag away. You notice it's resizing properly. I'm going to make it about this big. I might have to shrink it a little more, but at the current moment, I think it's good. Now that, we're, now that we have that, let's convert this into an actual thrown object. Up here at the top, click VTuber Plus, convert to thrown item. And bam, it's now a thrown item. Normally, it converts it into a mesh collider. We don't want this. So come over here to these three little dots, click it, and remove that component. There's two types of components we're going to be adding. Capsule or spear. We are going to go ahead and add a spear collider here since it's literally a ball. Uh, since this is since the uh, since the sphere is the exact same size as we need, we don't need to worry about it. But if it wasn't, over here, you notice these three little dots that says next to edit collider. Clicking upon this will actually highlight the uh, highlight the circles and gives you a grab point with the little squares. Grabbing that will actually move it around. Real simple to actually manage. And finally, we need an audio file. I have an audio file, but I forgot to put it in here. So let's go ahead and also drag this into here. There we go. Now that it's also in here, there's two ways to add it to this pool ball. Over here, there's this little circle next to audio clip. You can click it and there's, there's an option to do it like this. Or if you know exactly where your file is, just grab it and drop it right on top of the audio clip section. You notice it highlights blue, which means it's good to be added. And there we go. It's done. Let's extract it. So click your object, VTuber plus export asset. It's going to ask, where do you want to save it? So I'm going to, I have a saved spot already. So I'm going to put it into my install folder, which is VTuber plus, VTuber plus data, user item, throw item. And this is where it's going to stay. So I'm going to save it right here. And it's done. So let's actually test this. I currently have in my VTuber Plus, I'm going to go ahead and turn myself off here for a second. I already have VTuber Plus loaded, so it's still using the default items. So let's actually fix this. Down here, the items button. You can also change the size of the items in here if it's too big or too small. But if, it, if these sliders don't help, you can go back to Unity and fix that. Over here, there's a button called Reload Items. I think I clicked it. <laughs> I did. Ow. <laughs> I might actually keep that, honestly. And there you go. Now we got our custom thrown item. <laughs> if you want it to be a sticky item, let's go ahead and open the folder. The fastest way to do it is items, open folder. And there you go. I also already had a folder pulled up, but that's fine. If you want it as a sticky item, let's go ahead and move this into sticky thrown item. And let's reload those items. There we go. And now thrown. Sorry, this is the first time I've seen it. <laughs> and now we got sticky throat items. <laughs> All right. So how about if we get a new item to be dropped on me? That's just as easy. We're going to go ahead and go back into Unity. Turn myself back on over here. Oh, hang on. Uh, let me 
disable the UI so it doesn't get in the way. Let's go ahead and go back into Unity and click this little check mark to hide our object. It's going to get in the way. We're going to go ahead and tell this to create a new folder. We're going to name this uh, Triangle. Triange. Damn it, I did it again. Wait, why am I cr Ignore me, I'm sorry. I'm sitting here like, wait a second, I already got a stupid folder for it. There we go. Just drag and drop our new item into here. <laughs> By the way, yes, I am doing this ad lib. So we have a protractor. Let's go ahead and drag and drop this up here into our project. Oh, this one's missing its texture again, so we'll just go ahead and drag and drop it onto the object. Perfecto. Um, I'm going to actually use this as a measurement compared to our 8-ball, so let's go ahead and turn it back on. And we're going to shrink this down to about there. We're going to go ahead and turn our 8-ball back off. So we're going to go ahead and rotate this kind of like this. I just realized I didn't ha grab the triangle, I grabbed the protractor, but pfft, apples to oranges. So we're going to convert this into a dropped item. It creates a sphere collider for this one. Mm. I'm not wanting a sphere collider here. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this. And we're going to add a capsule collider. By the way, I didn't mention earlier, I'm sorry. You can actually click into here and search for sphere or capsule. I'm going to add that. I'm going to edit this and let's, let's see where this goes. Alright, so this is not, this capsule is not doing what I want it to. So we're going to create a game object. Up here into our hierarchy, right click and tell it to create empty. It creates literally nothing but a game object. We're going to go ahead and center this at the zero point. And then we're going to drag and drop our protractor into the game object. Finally, we're going to go ahead and get rid of... We're actually going to go ahead and re remove this and add it again. But put it onto the game object. Because uh, I didn't feel like undoing all of that. And this is just faster. There we go. Hide the eight ball again. Go ahead and put this back on the protractor. If you ever have the camera get squirrely on you, uh, just click your object and hit F. It'll do what's called focus and it'll recalibrate the camera and makes it go slower for you. Um, sometimes if you're doing like an avatar, uh, like an action figure, and you do focus, it might throw it off still. But anyways, now that we have this, I'm going to go ahead and rename this to Protractor. There we go. We're going to convert this into our dropped item. I'm going to rotate this so it looks like it's going to drop on its edge. There we go. And finally, I'm going to add I'm going to, again, remove the sphere collider here, because we don't need it. We're going to add the capsule collider back. And there we go. So give me just a moment to actually fix this up to make it look nice. There we go. So, I want this to be a sticky item, though. There's going to be a slight difference. I want this to stick into my head a little bit. If I do this, it's actually going to stop at the top of my head instead of actually going into it or, you know, looking like it goes into it. So, pull this back a little bit. <laughs> pull this back a little bit. And now, when this falls on me, 
it'll actually stop right here. So let's go ahead and tell this to export the item. We're going to actually throw this into the sticky drop item section. Boink. Wait for it to do its song and dance. And there we go. Let's go ahead and flip back to VTuber Plus. Tell it to reload our items. And then drop. And there we go. I forgot to add an audio file, but don't worry about it. Excuse me for just a second. <laughs> Sorry about that. My cat was uh, being silly. All right, so now that we have this stuff in VTuber Plus, how do we actually set up more? Now, I'm gonna go ahead and set this up for our rewards. I'm gonna go ahead and come back here and grab a couple of items from my own stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and copy these and then paste it in here. Oh, sorry, in here. Now we got my three Poke... Actually, hang on. I'm going to get rid of the pills. There we go. I got Pokeball, Origin Ball, and the, stand uh, the OG Pokeball, and the Standard Pokeball. We're also going to go ahead and move the Sticky Throne item from here back into the Throne item. Now, we're going to go ahead and set up our rewards. <laughs> this is the fun part. So in this segment, we are going to go ahead and cover the Twitch part of the things. Now, rewards are right here in the bottom right with the settings. So you just click rewards and you'll have this page right in front of my face. Yeah. Anyways, you notice I already have a bunch of stuff right here of stuff I've already got. But I'll teach you guys how to actually set this up proper. So over here, you got all your settings that you need to set up a Twitch version of these items. You got your throws, which could also be drops, food, confetti, bucket, splash, mesh, uh, mesh toggles, if your uh, avatar has multiple meshes that you can manage, lights, bloom, blur, glitch, grayscale, pixelate, rainbow, shake, wave, and even have your audience toggle different avatars that's on on your current version of your account but let's go ahead and keep it simple and go with a throw <clears throat> excuse me so right now is set up to be a tennis ball only let's actually change this we're going to change this to custom only custom items it's currently set to random so if I actually re redeem the reward It'll just throw any of the items that's in the custom only section. But I wanted to actually throw the eight ball only. Excuse me, I forgot to do something. Reload. There. <laughs> I, I had to port my stuff back over. Uh, do, 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 do. So we're going to change this back to custom only. There we go. Now everything's listed properly. If you noticed, I have the eight ball and the three Pokeballs I co uh, converted over. So we're just going to go ahead and leave this as it is. We're going to have this use channel points. So basically, you'll want to do the rename, uh, reward name and the command. We don't need the command itself, but here's what we're going to do. We're going to have this name as Yeet. Keep in mind, this is exactly what you need to type into uh, Twitch. I'll show that in just a second. Bits. Bits method is if someone throws bits, it will actually trigger this reward. So equals means if someone throws in exactly 100 bits, it'll actually trigger the, uh, trigger the effect. Greater than means if they throw 100 or more, like let's say you have it set up as 100, It'll trigger it at anything past 100. IPB is a deadly one. Basically, uh, it's literally one item per bit. <laughs> so you, you probably don't want this one unless you're, you're a masochist like myself. Now, bits is basically 
do you want this to be, uh, this is basically the value of the reward via bit toss, but we don't need it for this test. Item count, how many is gonna be thrown from that reward? Uh, reset after, that one's only for uh, whatever you have one of these up here, uh, like rainbow or pixelate or whatnot. And then finally, damage. If you have your, if you have ragdoll turned on, like I do, the damage determines how much health your avatar suffers. You have 100 health as your avatar, and every time you're pelted with it, will deal this damage. So, like, let's say I do 50 here, and then VR Chat OSC command. This is for things for VR Chat. I personally don't know too much about it, so I'm not going to cover it. On subscribe. On subscribe will only fire if someone subscribes to your channel. On follow. This one's dangerous without safety precautions, but as soon as someone follows, it triggers this effect. Is a chat command. Basically, if you set it up to have the exclamation mark here and say, let's say, uh, I rename this to exclamation yeet. If someone in chat uses exclamation yeet, it'll actually do this command, but I am not using that. So I'm going to delete that exclamation. And now we just add it to our, uh, add it to our list here. You know, it's right here now. Now that we have it right here, let's go over to Twitch and actually show off what it, uh, what we are doing. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and close this and hide my UI. Over here, we're going to go over to the viewer rewards channel points. And then we're going to add a channel, uh, a custom reward. We're going to name this Yeet. Remember, has to be the same exact thing that you did on the other one. Enter amount. I'm going to just put this for one. You can put it to whatever value you feel that reward requires. And then finally, Make sure you tell it to skip reward request queue. This will fill up your re uh, request queue, and a lot of the times you don't need to refund points for uh, for the reward being thrown. You can add a picture, all the other stuff, but I'm just going to go ahead and create this reward. Here it is. Now, let's actually go over to our Twitch chat. Slide my happy butt over here. And now we go our, to our channel rewards and then click yeet. Ow. If I yeet, through yeet another one at me, ugh, dead body noises. By the way, the knees are supposed to be like that. Don't freak out. <laughs> like I have one in here for a custom uh, drop called Acme Approved. And I just go... 100%. <laughs> so, now, let's talk about item groups. So, you want, let's say you want to have just the 8-ball as a, as a thrown item, but you want to categorize all the Pokeballs into their own set. That's just as easy. Let's go over here to VTuber Plus, uh, plus is user items and then go into the Throne Item section. In here, you notice I have everything in the same folder. Let's separate this. Right click, tell it new, new folder. I have a, a new folder option on my, uh, my OS, but yeah, just ignore that. We'll name this Pokeball. Oh, cause I, cause I'm still using the old file system. <laughs> I'll name it Pokeballs. So I'm going to move these. I'm going to move these into here. Now, let's go back over to VTuber Plus. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on this so you can see it better too. And now let's reload our items. Rewards. Now, here's something that you're going to see here in a moment. Sorry about the noise outside my window. Uh, they're mowing the lawn. We'll go custom only. Now, when we do this drop down, you notice there's now the eight ball 
and a funny symbol with pokeballs. This is your grouped item. Anything that's in this group will be thrown only if this group was called. So I'm going to go ahead and edit our yeet to change that from random to pokeballs and save. If you notice, if I do this, it's only throwing pool balls. So let's go back over to our Twitch and actually yeet. And there you go. It's only pulling from the group folder. Pokeball out. At this point, I hope uh, I s helped you guys figure out what you need to do to set up your own version of your items into VTuber Plus. If you have any actual questions, uh, please feel free to use the comments below or hell, hit up the Discord that you, that you always see in the uh, UI or even at the start. But either way, I hope you guys have a good one and as always, Keep it cool, everyone. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> Bye!